Mastering Geometer Course. Hi, I am Afsana Athar and let me take you through performance testing in Mastering Geometer Course. Imagine that you own a web app which started trending overnight. You took care of scaling for increase in traffic by using cloud providers that provides the infrastructure support. However, you notice that the increase in the number of users is causing downtime and delays in some of the internal services and APIs. It is a cause of concern for you since this will hurt your user experience and will drive your traffic to your competitors. Wondering what could you have done to mitigate this? Well, the answer is performance testing. Jmeter is an open source tool that can be used to measure the performance of the application or server under test in multi-threading framework. It allows you to measure and evaluate the performance of an application or server, check its response time, and make sure that the application is stable and reliable under various load conditions. Jmeter helps you to accurately reproduce users' behavior and can help design complex scenarios to emulate hundreds or thousands of concurrent virtual users to apply accurate workloads. It is a powerful tool which helps you create, run, debug and analyze the test execution results. It provides both tabular and graphical view of application response time and performance using visualizations plugins which helps in identify the most likely cause of any performance issues. So join me as we embark on this journey to become proficient at performance testing with Jmeter where we will walk through end-to-end -end load testing and measuring performance for a variety of applications. I hope you are as excited as I am to embark on this journey. So let us have a look at the sections that we will cover in this entire course. In section 1, basic scripting using assertions in Jmeter we will learn about the various types of assertions available to you when making a request as a sampler. You will also learn the basics in scripting assertions. In section 2, intermediate scripting using logic controllers, you will become familiar with various logic controllers at your disposal when you need to define the order of processing your request. Along with the defined logic controllers, we will also look at using logic controllers in scripting. In section 3, samplers which is also known as request in Jmeter, we will explore the various types of samplers which helps in making requests to the web server under test. We will understand each type with the help of an example using script. In section 4, integration of Selenium with Jmeter, we will learn how to integrate Jmeter with an industry standard tool for web testing Selenium. We will understand how to set up JUnit test cases and explore integration with Selenium WebDriver. In section 5, Advanced Scripting, we will take a look at scripting via Java using Binshell, which is the most popular plugin for Jmeter. We will explore Binshell Pre and Post Processors and the Binshell Sampler. In section 6, Overview of Test Controller, we will learn about test controllers to control the execution of pieces of the test plan. In section 7, Designing Test Plan, we will learn how to design a scalable and maintainable test plan. We will also explore workload design, master slave configuration, and execute test on slave from the client machine. In section 8, Jmeter validations in non-GUI mode testing, we will learn to run test and monitor result in non-GUI mode. And finally, we will learn about a different approach where we are going to use Taurus which can execute Jmeter scripts. Now this is another approach where instead of using the command prompt, we will be using a tool Taurus designed by Blazemeter. In section 9, execution and reporting, we will explore the test execution in GUI mode. We will also explore to analyze and monitor the test execution result using Taurus to track the performance metrics like response rate and so on. So let's get started.